this is Thomas at Millfin. And so what we're doing today is you've seen us smoke brisket, you've seen us smoke chickens, you've seen us, seen us smoke Boston butts, all these different types of things. The one thing that we do a lot of here for nicer events is we will smoke a whole filet mignon. And so what we're going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to do that. And so this is simply just a whole filet, and we got this at Sam's. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this thing open, and we're not going to trim it or do anything like that. All we are going to do is first we're going to take some butter and put it in a skillet. Okay? So we're going to get a skillet nice and hot. So I'm going to take this fillet right here. I'm going to put it on the sheet pan. So once I put it on the sheet pan, all I'm going to do is take our original seasoning and season this side, only one side of the fillet. So I've got this butter going over here. I'm going to take the fillet with the seasoned side down. I'm going to sear this outside of this fillet. Now, this fillet is too big to go in here. It does not matter. I can move it around. So I'm going to, once I do this, since I've got this other side up, I'm going to season this side for about 90 seconds. After I season it for about 90 seconds, I'm going to flip it over and season the other okay, side. Okay, so we'll let this sear for just a second, and now I'm going to show you what it needs to look like when we flip it over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to flip it over. That's really, really good right there. I've got just a little bit of a char right there, because what I want to do is I want to... I want to do is I'm going to take the outside of the meat and put a put a coat on it so that the moisture doesn't escape. So we're going to sear this side. Once we sear this side, we're going to put it back on the pan and we're going to take it. We're going to put it on the smoker and we're going to go out there and show you how we put it. On. Okay, so we've got our fillet seared. We're out here at our smoker. So we use a Southern Pride SPK 500. And so what it is, it's powered by propane, but the flavor is through wood. And so we've got cherry now. I like cherry as opposed to hickory or anything else that other people use. A lot of people use hickory. I'm not a huge hickory fan. I like cherry. Number one, it's a milder flavor. And number two, it's the color. It gives it a red color that I love, that, that color of that smoke. So what we're going to do is I've got about four sticks that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put in our smoker box right here. And the fire is going to light and then the smoke is going to go through here. So if you've got a Southern Pride, you understand exactly what I'm saying. So we're gonna come over here. We've got our filet here. So I have, I'm doing another one also. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my filet and I'm si simply gonna put it on the rack right here. Now, some people will put a pan under here to catch the juice for um, horseradish sauce. Totally fine, makes it unbelievable. Not necessary. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close her up. We're gonna push start. Now. Our cook temp is going to be 225. I'm going to cook this at 225. I'm going to check this at two hours. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to check this at uh, right around two hours and see where we're at in the process. I want this thing to be about 130-ish, 128 to 135, anywhere in that range, and I'm fine with that. I'm going to let it rest for a long time, and then we'll slice it on our carving station tonight at a really special Okay, event. so what we've done is we've taken the, the um, filet off the smoker. And this is what it looks like. So you can see it shrunk up a little bit, but we've tested the meat in here. It's a little warmer than what I wanted to. It's in the lower 130s, but that's totally fine. The biggest thing we're going to do now is let so this that thing all go. the juice redistributes back in the fillet. I will have some pictures at the end of the video to show you what it looks like when we cut it. We're putting this on a carving station tonight at a big event, and we're also slicing it as steaks for one individual that we're doing the, the meal for. So. Uh, you'll see the pictures later on. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you have any questions, please put in the comments below or email me at thomas at milfit.co. Again, that's thomas at milfit.co. Uh, thank you so much, guys.